What's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking about a beat down here on this Thursday afternoon. So if you see my community post, or maybe you didn't, uh, you know I'm going to be doing some incline dumbbell presses and we're going to be doing some uh, heavy barbell shrugs. <sighs> I can't believe it, but I'm starting to feel a little sickly again. And I was just sick like two weeks ago. Not like deadly sick, but the snotty and the cold feeling and all that. Man, it's because I'm around sick kids all the time. My grandkids are always sick and coughing on me. And being a school bus driver, I'm always around kids coughing and sneezing and harking and everything else on the bus. And, and giving people, giving all of them fist bumps and stuff. And, whoo, man, I don't ever get sick like that. But I'm just, and plus it's like 60 degrees in our house. We haven't got the heat on or nothing, so uh, kind of enjoying the cool, coolness. But then again, it, I don't know, it might be too cool. So anyway, gonna go ahead and get this going and get this over with. Uh, this is the only part that I'm not looking forward to. I don't feel real strong, but of course we are gonna go up to the 100s and do a few sets and a few reps. Looking forward to the shrugs because there's very little effort. There's a lot, not a lot of movement involved, even though we're going to go heavy. So let's go ahead and get these uh, chest pressings done and uh, uh, move on to the funner stuff today. So I hope you stick around and uh, don't go anywhere. Well guys, just after those two little warm-up sets, I'm making the executive decision to not push myself too hard with these 100s today. So I'm going to keep my reps to six reps instead of pushing out 10s. I just don't feel like I'm at that point today. And uh, plus I'm doing four sets of them. So uh, yeah, so we're going to tone the reps back a little bit and uh, get through this uh, uninjured or you know anything like that so sometimes you got to do that guys Set number three. <clears throat> set number four. Hundred pound dumbbells, final set.
All right, guys, and just like that, we are done with a workout. Another day, another workout over and done. Uh, kind of not happy that I took it a little easy, but I just felt like I needed to. Uh, you know, you got to listen to yourself and uh, not worry about what other people might think. You got to listen to yourself and do what you think is right. And uh, if I'm sitting here snotting and my throat's hurting and all this stuff, you know, that's uh, kind of taking me off my game and uh, you start to feel a little bit drugged down a little bit probably from all the you know the sickness that is coming on I felt it coming on yesterday and uh, then all today I've been like oh man am I really gonna get sick again and you know what I blame it on I blame it on not having my mandarin oranges every day uh, since the beginning of fall since probably September uh, at least September I haven't been buying the mandarin, my mandarin oranges that I buy because they went from being like the size of a, you know, a nice size peach or a, a baseball, you know, something or along those sizes, a nice, easy to peel, no seeds, you know, mandarin orange. It went from that to like the size of a, a golf ball or something and they're hard and cruddy looking at the stores. So uh, I went from eating a couple of those every single day to not really having anything so it might have something to do with it I don't know but uh because I don't usually get sick like I've said uh, just a couple weeks ago when I got sick I don't really get sick so but then again I am around kids all the time so it just is what it is so uh anyway having said all that um workout is still decent I did decent enough and uh, I didn't go up as heavy and crazy in my shrugs as I wanted to, but I did make myself go to 455 and just cut it off there. I didn't do the last set. I thought, eh, I'm done. I'm ready to be done and not uh, stress and strain anymore. So, uh, you know, hey, it, it's just uh, one of those more lackluster ones that are in the book. It's okay. Uh, the rest of the week has been awesome, and, uh, you know, I can't find any fault in that. So, anyway... Uh, tomorrow we are going to be doing deadlifts, but I hate to break it to you. They're going to be elevated. Elevated don't mean uh, rack pulls, which are up by your knees. For me, my, the elevated I'm going to be doing is going to be about an inch or so from the floor. Maybe. Depends on how I feel tomorrow. So uh, i got to kind of see how I feel tomorrow as to exactly where I go with that. But you'll see once we get going. And uh, no, no real goals that I'm going for. Just, you know gonna do some deadlifts so uh, that'll be it for the week and uh, coming up I was gonna save this for tomorrow to say but I'll go ahead and say it so next week we have a short week of course Thanksgiving is next week and so schools are out Wednesday Thursday and Friday and I thought well maybe I'll give myself an easy week and find something to do and uh, something different to do and give my body a rest from all these same exact movement movements over and over and over you know you need a break sometimes from all these same movements because you're wearing out these same joints and elbows and pivots and all this you know things get worn out if you just keep doing the same stuff over and over and over so uh, next week I'm gonna I'm gonna try and come up with a plan some sort of a routine just to get me busy and uh, doing some different stuff next week I hope I can do it it's very difficult to do that kind of stuff when you're used to doing certain things but I'm gonna try and do that so and also I'm gonna do a video it might be later tonight but uh, I'm gonna do a video where I talk about bench pressing because it seems like every male on the planet wants to know about bench pressing I guess that's the biggest the biggest movement the biggest workout in the gym the biggest talk of the town is bench pressing not squats not deadlifts or shoulder presses or bent rows or you know anything like that it's bench press and so uh, it's a it's a topic that is it's almost not worth talking about I'm gonna be honest because there's 10 billion videos that you can go watch already and it's from more prestigious well-known people than myself I'm a nobody out here in the world I'm just a average dude that lifts and that's all I've ever done uh, I don't go by any certain you know workout plan you know someone's program or this that and the other I just do what I do and uh, I've said it before I've said it 
several times that I just work out how I work out and that's how I've always done it and that's why I don't know about a lot of these programs that people talk about I don't know a lot about all these people that are famous you know famous coaches all around the world and different things these you know famous people out there you know I don't know about all them because I didn't keep up with all that I didn't go to gyms and work out I have worked out in a gym before but you know not not like that to to that degree where you're around those people and, and that kind of a surrounding. I've always just done everything myself. So, uh, and that's one reason I'm proud to be where I'm at and the accomplishments I've done. I haven't relied on nobody except for myself. So, I'm gonna try and make a video because I did have a comment uh, pop up on one of my videos, uh, like yesterday I think maybe. You know, a guy was stuck at a certain amount of weight and how do you get there, what'd you do, blah, blah, blah. And I kind of gave him an answer, but not really, kind of, sort of. It's just, it, it is such a complex answer to give that you really need to take your time and, tr and try and do it uh, justice, I guess. So I'm going to try and do a video and just kind of talk about things. And it's not going to be well-structured and perfect. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and write a script out and try to read line for line or nothing. I'm just going to try and give you some sort of an idea and example of how I feel uh, you get past sticking points and, 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 and just different things. So you look out for that video. It may be tonight. It may be this weekend. I don't know. It just depends on how I feel. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the quick little video. And uh, sorry it was a little bit lackluster, but there's always another day. And, uh, and uh, we'll get it done, okay? So guys... Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael. You're a snotty little host. And uh, don't forget, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And I'm glad tomorrow's Friday. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.